It was some six months ago that the Flyers Blue lifted the Perth Premier League trophy at the Coburn Ice Arena tonight on the opening night of season 2021. A new season, a new look competition, but the action never changes in the Perth Premier League. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Perth Ice Arena for opening night of the CD Don Perth Premier League for 2021 live on front row screens. And it's all thanks to our support, our title sponsor, CD Dodd Scrap Metal Recyclers. It's great to have them on board once again for WA Ice Hockey in 2021. My name is Paul Persick. Glad to have your company here in the commentary box here at the Perth Ice Arena for the first of our double headers for Friday night, the CD Dodd Perth Premier League. Yes, it's a new format. Five teams playing in the competition over 23 rounds. Two games every Friday night, culminating in the semi-finals and grand final series throughout the month of September. The 19th of March tonight is when it begins. The 24th of September, the last Friday in September, is when it all culminates in the grand final, the ga third game of the grand final over in Coburn. Yes, Coburn will be hosting games as well, along with the Perth Ice Arena. And no doubt it is going to be a cracking season, as it was in the condensed 2020 year here at the Perth Ice Arena and as well for the whole of the Perth Premier League. We're streaming live tonight, thanks to Front Row Screens and on the Perth Premier League Facebook page. So you can just go on to facebook.com forward slash Perth Premier League, CD.Perth Premier League for all the action and all the news behind the scenes in West Australian ice hockey in this competition. The Flyers Blue, they are the reigning champions. They are aiming to go back to back in season 2021. They dominated the competition last year, only losing twice and sweeping the grand final series over the Blackhawks 2-0. The Vikings, they are an entirely new side. They finished second last last season, but they have got some star-studded players in their lineup under Sean Cookson. They've got Chris Winnett, Mike Spencer, and Rick Cooper. Rick Cooper, in particular, has been in great form for the Outlaws in the Perth Summer League, but they've also got a deadly three-peak combination. David Kudley, Yon Levesque, and probably the biggest acquisition of them all, Caden Goulds, the leading goal scorer for the Blackhawks last season in the condensed 2020 Premier League competition. He's now with the Vikings, and that adds plenty of depth at both ends of the rink. We've got a marvellous turnout by the stands and, of course, the crossbar here at the Perth Ice Arena. So no doubt the noise will certainly be made and the action will live up to the billing here at the Perth Ice Arena for the first of these Premier League games. Let us know where you're watching from on the Front Row Screens Facebook page or on the Perth Premier League Facebook page as well. We'd love to hear your feedback and response anywhere you may be watching across the world. And it's not the only game that we will have bringing to you tonight. We've got the Sharks and the Flyers Orange set to do battle at about 9, 9.15 tonight. And no doubt it is certainly going to be a cracking game, that one. Both sides reaching the semi-finals, but failing to go on in their quest for the championship in 2020. We're about to get the pre-game festivities going. We're going to go on to centre ice now for the National Anthem and the first of the puck drops. We'll go down to centre ice now with Paul McCann, who's one of the key personnel in the CD Dodd Perth Premier League for the first of the puck drops ahead of what is this first game of season 2021. Both sides lining up. First of the puck drops, Richie Lamb, the captain of the Flyers Blue. It's also got Rick Cooper, captain of the Elves. The first of the puck drops. And it's Richie Lamb that wins that first puck drop. That is Jack Claris, who is the captain of the Viking side. Let's go now to the national anthem as players face the Australian flag.
National Anthem on full blast and the teams slapping the ice with the sticks to get themselves set for this opening match on opening night of the CD Dodd Perth Premier League for 2020 run. We'll just go over the simple formalities of this competition. 20 minute periods for the first and the second periods for those that are new to ice hockey here in WA. And the third period, 15 minutes, including stoppage time in that third and final period. So it is going to be interesting to see how the teams once again adapt to the winter competition. As we know, both teams have players that have just come off Perth Summer League duties over the last two or three days and now back to the Winter League competition. As you see there, the Vikings in that last huddle before they get set to take to the ice for the first time in 2021. Watch out for that three-peat combo under Sean Cookson that we just mentioned. David Kudler, Yon Levesque and Caden Goulds. That big acquisition from the Blackhawks after being one of the major goal scorers for that side last season. He's defected to the Vikings in order to give them a little bit of an offensive boost in season 2021. The Vikings, they are ready to go. The Flyers Blue will follow suit. For their first game of 2021. You see there, Kudler, Levesque and Caden Goulds. Liam McCauley as well who's been in a bit of summer league action. We're about to get, get things underway. The first of these matches in 2021. Looks like it is going to be Brian, uh, Braden maybe a deadly weapon for the Elk. That may take the face off. In fact, he shifted that duty to Andrew Cox. And Liam McCauley will face off in the first punch drop. After six months of waiting, the action is underway. CD Dog Perth Premier League is on for 2021. The Vikings have first use of the puck. Here comes McCauley, trying to work it along the wings now. And they're forced to play it back onto defensive ice. Smart along the wings now. Here they go. Here's Moffat. Going towards the low slot. Cross ice in the direction there of Tobin. But immediately turned over. Maybe. Beautiful pass and center ice to Kairos, but turned over. And there he is, Kaden Goulds. Ring number 64 tonight. Oh, pin to the end boards there. Well, one of the Flyers' blue players, and they immediately go on the defensive takeaway. And again, the movement of the punch from both teams really quickening here. Tobin gets a fresh airy there. A hoist pass back on defensive ice. Brilliant, the intercepted there by Kudler. Vikings now have it control. Manning it on defensive ice. Kairos combining well there with maybe. Kairos, does he go cross ice to Jeffries? No, he doesn't. It's turned over. Line play here. Moffat goes towards a high slot. He shoots. Didn't get all of that one in. It ricocheted off Hasselhurst, who's wearing the number 19 tonight. And Stephen McCann tending the net. Of course, Mark McCann will be taking to the rink for the Flyers Orange. Levesque plays it to the wings now. Defensive takeaway, good block by Hasselhurst. He breaks away through center ice. Tries to go out there to Jeffries. Lays it back now. Hasselhurst again. It was deadly for the Blues for the Orange last season. He's now shifted from orange to blue during the offseason. Defensive block. Well played. Goulds turned over. And now it's played back. That's to Dwayne Piefer, the captain of the Grizzly side. They themselves had a good win over the Crusaders a couple of days ago in the summer competition. Open ice pass, and it looks like it's going to be icing. Yes, it will. We'll go all the way back to the Vikings attacking zone for their first chance. Remember, 20-minute periods, the first and the second continuous time. And then the last period, 15 minutes with stoppage for those that are still new to the winter competition, the Perth CD Dodd Perth Premier League. Jeffries wins the face off on the inner circle of the offensive zone. Win it. Tries to go cross ice to the intended target there of Hamilton. Humiston gets it on the high slot. Good play by Humiston. Goes against Jeffries. Cross ice pass. Well played. In the direction there of McDonald. Shoots and it's tipped in. The first one goes to Spencer. Spencer with a late tip in with the shot in midair. And the Vikings strike first for the 2021 season. 1-0 the scoreline. We play three minutes in this opening period. We go to the CD Dodd replay. Fine switch of the puck here. 
Good cross ice pass. Humiston. McDonald went for the shot. Tipped in at midair by Spencer to get the first goal on the board. 1 0 the Vikings. Under 17 minutes to go in this first period here at the Perth Ice Arena. Face off being won by the Blues. Andrew Cox goes cross ice to offensive ice. Finds Levesque. And now they go out back. Williams. Humiston. On the offensive wings now. Lamb pushes him off. And now it's played along the wings. Transferred there by Kairos. Kairos looking to go for the backhand. A cross ice pass to the direction of Cox. But the low slot traffic that the Vikings have got proved too much. Here's Winnett. Playing along the wings. Keeps it in front. Got the numbers in that contest. Up against Mukija. Works it back. Hoist shot into the path of McCann. But it looks like may have been some slashing. It will go on to the neutral line. It will go on to the inner circle for the Flyers blue attacking zone. No penalty called. So both sides will remain with the five on five with a couple of line changes. Mike Spencer scoring the first if you've just joined us, ladies and gentlemen, for the first time here at the Perth Ice Arena. Four minutes into the game, Mike Spencer tipped in the first goal from the low slot. Here's Levesque, cross ice, turned over. Hasselhurst plays it along the wings, looking to build some space. But it's the defensive takeaway by Kudler. Here's Levesque. Levesque do Kudler. Couldn't get all of the slap shot in. Hasselhurst, a fine block in by Webster. Uh, Williams it is, I should say. Shoots from the high point and a good save there to his left in the crease. Stephen McCann. CD dot replay coming your way now. Again, Williams with that second effort. Good defensive block from the corner of the high slot. Went for the wrist shot, which was the right thing to do. But McCann to his left making a fine save. Open ice pass back to centre ice now by Kairos. But it's cut off by the Vikings defenders. Played a bit hesitantly there. Turned over. Tip-in attempt there by Caden Nurich. But he didn't get all of it. Late tip-in Nurich. Well played by the Vikings. Heavy traffic inside that low slot. Forcing many turnovers. Here's Gould. Slap shot. McCann. Nice save to his left. And will be another face-off on the inner circle here at the Perth Ice Arena. CD Dodd PPL opening night. Streaming live thanks to front row screens. All throughout the 2021 season, 23 rounds with five teams taking part. Cox wins the face off, pushes back. Mokija played a bit of offense on the Summer League competition with the Elk. He's now being shifted to the defensive end. Could be a damaging player at both ends on the rink. Land. Manning the puck on defensive ice. Cross ice pass. Beautiful pass to Kairos. Kairos from the high point. He went for the slap shot. But it ricocheted there off Pifa. Maybe. Plays it to the wings. Now on the end boards goes Kairos. He's got Lamb on his own on the high point. Doesn't go to that territory. On the edge they go. Levesque. Hoist pass back onto center ice in the direction of Moffat. Well played by Moffat. Goes back there to Pifa. Moffat was the intended target to go for the slap shot because he had about a couple of meters of space inside that offensive zone to work it out in front. Lamb with a back bump. Moffat. McDonald. McDonald finds some space on the slot. Goes for the shot but doesn't get it, but he was tripped up. And that is going to be against the Blues. It was well spotted by the refs. And it is going to be against Mukija. And that may be the first trip to the penalty box for this season. Yes, Mark Mukija is going to spend some time in the penalty box. This will be for the first of the Shutterguard power plays for 2021. Of course, as is the norm, it will be two minutes inside the penalty box. So Mark Mukija will spend some time there in the box. For the next two minutes, five on four. The Vikings will have the advantage in this of the shutter guard power plays. Attending there for the Vikings. They move it very quickly, the Vikings, with the new players that they've got. Goulds now. Turn up. Back to Goulds now. 
Late inside the slot. And again, McCann going down low. It's Corey Boot, who is net tending tonight. Made a couple of good saves when the Blues have had their chances. Shutterguard power play still in effect. Remember, the clock continues to run in the first and second periods. Kairos looking to go for the offensive turnover. Tobin plays it to the end boards. Lamb with the backhand. Now on the offensive wings. McDonald, he has an open, is he, he has an open player there, but Cooper able to cover that one off. Penetrating pass towards center ice. Well played by Cox. Keeps it in front of him. Goes through two players. Cross ice to Kairos. Looking for the slap shot inside the slot. And Kairos responds. Fine solo effort from one of the deadliest goal shooters in ice hockey today. Jordan Kairos found his way through two players penetrating the low slot area with a fine wrist shot. It goes to the back of the net and the, the reigning champions draw level. As we see on the CD dot replay, fine backhand to pass to Cox, giving Kairos plenty of space to penetrate the area and go for the wrist shot. Levels it up for the reigning champions. One all with just under 11 minutes to go. In this opening period, we're glad you can join us on this Friday night. It's been a balmy day here in Perth. And the action is only hotting up at the start of this uh, CD Dodd Perth Premier League season of 2021. Puck now played on the Vikings' defensive zone. It's passed out wide by Moffat. Now out to McDonald. Cross-ice pass, well covered off there by Levesque. One-on-one, -on -one, the puck is back and forth. It's been won there by Jeffries. Jeffries to Nurich from the corner. Is he going to look for the tip-in? He shoots. Lovely save by Boot and keeps it out in front. And from behind the goal line, the Vikings play the puck. Beautiful pass. This is to the advantage of one of the players, Moffat. Turner, cross-ice pass, shoots. Just to the right-hand crossbar there, but it looks as though the referee has spotted a hooking interference there. Meanwhile, the power play has expired for Mukija. I think we may see another. No, we won't. Be a face-off on the inner circle. As you just saw, the penalty being called on the CD Dodd replay. So it'll be Cox and Spencer who scored that first goal of the game. Nine and a half minutes on the CD Dodd scoreboard. Turner shoots from the corner point. And again, McCann just outside the crease making a good save. Great turnout by the crossbar and at the stands here, as we see here, CD Dodd replay, slap shot from Turner. Didn't get all of that one in. Turner bumped off it. Turner looking for the tipping inside the crease to scramble for it. And already the heat has been turned up here. As Humiston gets involved, as well as Lamb, the referee's trying to call it down. All oh, the tension almost boiling over already on opening night of CD Dodd PPL 2021, as we see the replay. Turner looking for the backhanded tip in. There was a scramble deep inside the crease and already pushing and shoving going on. We know our tensions can boil in this game. And already on opening night, it's starting to boil. It'll be Andrew Cox who's going to make his way to the inner circle. He's going to face Mike Spencer at this next puck drop. Cox pushes it out back. Win it. Pinned to the end boards there. Bumped off it. Well played by Cox. From defensive ice. Passes to the wings. Plays it there. Kairos keeps it in front. Break away from center ice. Cut off in the end, Spencer. But Kairos keeps it in front. Pinned to the boards by Spencer. Here's Lamb. Loses control of the puck. It's now back on the offensive zone. Playing it behind the goal line now is Kairos. He went for the cross ice out there to Cox. Lamb. Kairos shoots. And just to the right-hand crossbar. Along the wings. Mukidja. up. Plays it back to Lamb. Along the wings they go. Kairos from the corner point. Out there to Cox. He shoots and Cox scores. Fine play from Kairos. A beautiful hoist pass. Allowing Cox some space inside the low slot. Tips it in. And the Flyers blew the reigning champions lead it for the first time. With seven and a half minutes to go. CD dot replay from corner point. Cox from Kairos. Well set up by Kairos. Cox with some space deep in the low slot, tips it in with the greatest of ease to the back of the net. And they've come from 1-0 down to lead it 2-1 with seven minutes to go on the CD Dodd scoreboard. Nist, the opening night of CD Dodd Perth Premier League for 2021. 
And thank golly, it is a full season. Gould turns it over. Finds it out there, Levesque. Bit unlucky there. Turned over, McCauley. Gould's on centre ice. Keeps it in front, forced back. Well played there by Jeffries. He's had some space inside the slot. That would have been an easy opportunity for goal. He read the turnover very well indeed. Pinned to the boards, however, by Goulds. This gives the Vikings a chance. Here's Holman. Tobin, he shoots, didn't get all of it. Voice pass to the path of Jeffries. That's immediately cut off. McCauley on the edge of offensive ice. No ice in court. Almost a slashing there. Referee says play on. Nurich has three targets on defensive ice. Goes with a long pass. Nurich to Nurich. Pinned to the end boards, however. Here's McDonald. He shoots. Fine save, McCann. Looking for the secondary tip in. Doesn't get it. On the edge of offensive ice they go. Hasselhurst. Hasselhurst plays it along the wings. It's a hoist pass to the path of Jeffries. Turned over. Jeffries, what can he do? Nice four checking by the Vikings defense there. And now it's manned on defensive ice there by Spencer. He gets it back out to Turner. Turned over, however. Kairos, there he is again, keeps it in front. But however, the Vikings, they get it back in an instant. Here's McDonald. Oh, no, that's Humiston, I should say. Humiston out to McDonald. Knight looking for the tip in there. Shoots. That was Jack Clarius, the captain. Clarius cross ice, turned over. Cox with the defensive breakaway. Plays it to the wings. Kairos looking to go inside the side. He shoots and Kairos gets his second. Jordan Kairos has got himself a double. They've turned it on here, have the Flyers Blue. 3-1 the scoreline on the CD Dodd scoreboard with five minutes to go. Again, that's what the Flyers Blue love to do. They like to play it along the wings to generate space inside that offensive zone. And that's where Kairos does the most damage. Kairos just tripped up there inside the crease as he was scoring. But it's a goal nonetheless. 3-1, the, uh, the Flyers Blue lead the reigning champions. They have started off quite well after being 1-0 down in the first five minutes of this game. Lamb plays it across the wings. Kairos, long hoist pass. Got plenty of height on that one. He was aiming for Cox. Looking to set him up for a double himself there. One out of the Kairos trick book. The Vikings, however, regain possession. It's on the offensive wings, but Kairos, again, he's been everywhere in the early stages of this game. Maybe pinned to the end boards there by Humison, a hard hip and shoulder. Humison gets it back, backhanded tip in there by Winnett, doesn't come off. Cox. Keeps it in front. Wants to play it out the back, goes cross ice, blind pass, cut off Humiston, slap shot, goes bang, but doesn't land on the net. We'll kid you up. Under four minutes to go on the CD Dodd scoreboard. It's been an entertaining opening period thus far, but it's the Blues who are dishing out the punishment. Turned over. Can now. Back and forth they go. Good checking there by Humiston. Keeps it to the end of the line. Here's Williams combining there with McCauley. He didn't get all of it there, McCauley. Hazelhurst. Cross ice. Plenty of traffic on centre ice. Hazelhurst backs up his own effort. Pyros again. Nirich. Pinned to the end boards onto the defensive wings now. He's going up against Kalen Nurich, but the Vikings play it back. Hoist pass, back on the center ice. Hasselhurst jars it out of there, goes to Nurich. Turned over, however, the Vikings, they can build up space themselves. Here's Goulds, goes out back to Spencer. He's looking for his second. He shoots just off to the left-hand side. They're having to force a slowdown of the tempo that the Flyers Blue have exhibited throughout the 2020 season and as well as tonight so far. Jeffries, who's sensational in the summer season competition so far. Kairos plays it back. Lamb on defensive ice. Goes forward to Kairos again. Along the wings. Clarius. Two on one. Nice stick checking, but Clarius saw the space and went for it. Went to go cross ice to Moffat, but didn't hit its intended target. In fact, it was Kairos who partially blocked that one. And now Moffat will get it back of the turnover off center ice. Plays it indirect. McDonald keeps it in front. Well played, but didn't get the shot off in time. That is Clarius again. 
He's had about three or four chances. McDonald. On offensive ice, does he go for the wrist shot? No, he just keeps it a little bit further deep in the slot. Clarius again, goes to McDonald. Didn't get all of it. Open ice pass towards the defensive zone for the Vikings. It'll be a nice and cool. And it'll mean we'll go all the way back. Vikings will have another chance. Flies Blue, the reigning champions, leading 3-1 in this opening matchup, season 2021. We're glad you could join us for launch night. Cox loses out on the face-off this time to Spencer. Late tip in, nearly executed there by Humiston. Humiston plays it forward, win it. Now back to Spencer behind the goal line. Pinned to the end boards there by Cox. Well played by Cox, got himself in good position to retain possession of the puck. Changes direction, goes cross ice to Lamb with less than a minute to go in this opening period. Backhanded chop by Kairos. Doesn't get very far. And Goulds. Goulds plays it out back. Cut off by Lamb. Good hoist pass to Kairos. He's got some space behind the goal line. He's up against Levesque. Jeffries. From corner point goes Lamb. Pushes it forward back to Jeffries and now Kairos. Jeffries, he shoots and it's clutched in deep there, Corey Booten. Who will make the save. Will likely be the last play of this opening period. And after the Vikings got themselves off to a good start, the Flyers Blue responded and they've done so swiftly to lead this game 3-1. Kairos scored two and Andrew Cox has scored the other. The clock will run out as soon as the puck drops. And there it goes. That's the end of one. The Vikings, they got the first one on the board, but it's the Blues who lead it 3-1 at the end of the first on opening nights of the CD Dodd Perth Premier League for 2021. We'll be back with first period highlights and the second period action right after this from the Perth Ice Arena. Shatterguard has been installing Perth's best shutters for over 30 years. With no advertising signs on your front lawn and no sales gimmicks, visit shutterguard.com.au. You're invited to Perth Ice Arena, Perth's premier ice skating rink. If you're into ice hockey, bigger skating, a novice, or just enjoy the fun of ice skating, this is the place for you. Call or visit the website for session times. It's a great place to keep cool. Welcome back to the Perth Ice Arena, opening night of the CD Don Perth Premier League for season 2021. And it's the reigning champions starting off as they meant to. They lead 3-1 over the Vikings, who are a completely different side on paper in season 2021. They scored the first through Mike Spencer, but then the Flyers Blue in the next 10 minutes made the game their own. That last 10 minutes certainly belonged to the Vikings. They controlled the punk better. They passed a little bit more tightly and they controlled the tempo their way on the ice to take that lead 3-1. Goals scored by Cox, who has got a single and a double to Jordan Kairos, backing up the effort that he had in that overtime thriller in the, in the Summer League competition. And Mike Spencer, the only goal scorer for the Vikings in the first five minutes of this matchup. We'll take you back live to centre ice as the teams are about to get themselves set for the second period. Another 
continuous time uh, rolling of uh, 20 minutes if you're new to the Wii, uh, Premier League competition. And remember, 15 minutes plus stoppage time. Vikings will look to swing the momentum back their way. But they did play the puck a little bit loose from the defensive ice. They had a few turnovers deep inside of their defensive zone that nearly resulted in goals. We've got Tobin and Jeffries who will start things off in the second period here at the Perth Ice Arena. We've got a decent atmosphere by the stands and the crossbar. Premier League action is back. Jeffries will start things off. He wins the face off. He pushes it back to Hasselhurst from behind the goal line. Under immediate pressure from McCauley. Turns it over. Good stick checking there by McCauley. But in response, Jeffries wins it back. Force pass from towards center ice. Nurich. Open ice pass towards the offensive goal line. No one coming up to meet it. But except that man, number 25. In Mukija. Had to change jersey numbers. Vikings had greater traffic on that defensive zone. It's turned over. Goulds has been surprisingly quiet so far in this matchup. Turned over again. Jeffries plays it out wide. Cox shoots from corner point. And it's a good save. Corey Booten wearing the number 30 tonight. And we'll have ourselves the first face-off. 3-1 on the CD Dodd scoreboard. If you're just joining us for the first time, wherever you may be, at home, or a nearby bar just watching the game. We certainly hope you can enjoy the action with our first double header of 2021. Moffat wins the face-off. Heavy thrust forward back onto centre ice. And it's Mukija. Plays it back. Defensive ice turned over. McDonald was right in prime position to make the turnover. Good stick checking. Looked to keep the puck in front of him. But it's Richard Lamb, the captain of the Flyers' blue side, setting that entry back onto centre ice. Immediately cut off. Moffat, cross ice pass, McDonald shoots, and Moffat! Moffat tips it in with the backhand and scores inside the slot. That's the start that the Vikings wanted. Sean Cookson no doubt would have spoken to him at the end of that first period after conceding the momentum in the final 10 minutes. Here's the CD Dodd replay. Good triangle formation play there. McDonald, uh, it was Moffat from McDonald, passed from the corner point of the offensive zone and found Moffat on the offensive slot. Looking for the backhand to tip in, and that's where he delivered. 3-2 the scoreline. That goal coming at the first two minutes of this second period. Scoreboard, no doubt, showing clear indication early on that this will not just be a tight game, but a competitive competition as it was in 2020. Five teams playing this season. Lamb pinned to the, pinned to the sideboards there by McDonald. Looking to go cross ice. He's going to go for a solo effort here. McDonald. Bumped off it there, deep inside the crease. And it's going to be an interference, I think, yes. Some of the Blues aren't too happy with that one. They felt a bit unlucky, as we see on the replay. McDonald, marvellous solo effort, penetrating the offensive slot. Bumped off it by Kairos. And the referees deliberating with the players. Both sides making line changes. Face off on the Vikings attacking zone. They are forced to push back. Turnover coming. And on centre ice now by the Vikings. Here's Goulds. Forced back. Goes back to Goulds on centre ice. Well cut off there by Hasselhurst. Pinning Gould to the end boards there. Bumped off it again. Here comes Kairos. Two on one. The Vikings win out. He's kept in front there by McCauley. He goes to Williams. What can Williams do? It's an open ice pass towards the offensive goal line. And the Flyers blue with the greater numbers inside the slot. It's turned over. Fine play. Ricochet off the referee, but to the advantage there of Nurich. Nurich goes cross ice. Beautiful cross ice pass. Jeffries just couldn't complete it in time. Pinned to the sideboards there by Clarius. Turned over. Fine play. McCauley flicks it out wide. Kudler. Kudler shoots. Clutched into the second attempt there. McCann. Will be another face-off. CD Dodd replay coming up. Again, out of that congested one-on-one. -on -one, 
McCauley and Williams were able to get out of there. They had traffic out the back, which allowed them to move the puck freely out of that contest and play it along the wings. Clarius pushes the puck out back. It was an open ice pass. Finding Turner. Turner wearing number 99 tonight. Turner, beautiful direct pass. Finding good, uh, Levesque. Levesque pushes out back. Clarius. Levesque looking for the tip in there. It's a deep scramble inside the slot. Was it clutched in by McCann just outside the line? Yes, it was. Good save. Or did it? No goal, yes. And the Flyers blue, not too happy with that. Well, the Vikings, I should say, not too happy with that. They think they scored. But unfortunately, the refs were in the best position. They have not scored. The tipping attempt made there by McCauley. But it was just clutched in by McCann. Holman. He's only had a few minutes on the ice in this second period. Pushes the puck forward. Moffat behind the goal line. Nice backhanded pass. Opens up some space inside the offensive zone. Holman just couldn't complete it enough. It won't be an icing call, however. Here's Turner. Manning the puck from behind the goal line. Pressured by Kairos. Forced to play it along the wings. Moffat turned over. Here's Kairos with some open space. Tried to go for the dummy, but didn't get it. And it'll be clutched in there, Booten. He lets it go. Lays it out back. Holman. Long pass. Playing it to the wings, out towards Turner. Jeffries looked to go for the big six. Here's Turner. Was he tripped up? Ref say no inside the high slot. They're playing the puck. They're playing the puck towards the point. Turner looking for the slap shot towards the net. He didn't get all of it. That was their best chance. That was their best chance to try and level things up because Turner, he had space towards the left hand side of the slot. And he'd be a bit stiff there to miss out. As we see on the CD Dodd replay, cross ice pass Goulds brilliantly set up to Turner. And if he executed the slap shot in perfect, in perfect sync with that set play, then maybe Turner would have scored that one. Heavy slot coverage on the defensive end by the Blues here. They want to carefully protect that area in the event of an easily linked goal or a face-off pass out back. Win it. Stick checked in the end. Hasselhurst. Hasselhurst keeps the puck in front of him. Cross ice in the end there. Little effective pass there by Murich. And it's turned over. Humiston keeps it in front. Inside the slot. Humiston tipping that one in. Into the path there of the number 10 in Murich. He's well defended in the end. A back check by Murich. Keeps the puck alive in that defensive zone for the Blues. Pifa. Out wide goals. Goulds cross ice. Didn't get all of that one in. Open ice hoist pass. Goulds. Works it out front. Works it in front. Forced to go behind the goal line. That's good defensive coverage by the Blues. Protecting that slot area. McCauley. Here they come. Clarius. Looking to penetrate the shot with that pass, that cross ice pass. Forced to go behind the goal line, McCauley. Slowing down the tempo for both sides at the moment. But it's eventually cut off, maybe. Braden maybe plays it along the wings. Kairos goes through three, goes towards the low slot. He shoots, but it instantly is saved. Corey Booten. And there's already a bit in it here, again pushing and shoving. As we see on the replay, thanks to CD Dodd, Kairos a fine solo effort to get past all three. But the shot just coming too little too late in the end. And both, uh, both sides having chats with the referees after their involvement in a bit of pushing and shoving there. No player will be sent to the penalty box. Or will there be? So there's a delay in the game at the moment. The clock will continue to run, however. So only a couple of players just going to their benches. Less than 11 minutes to go. 3-2 is the scoreline in favour of the Vikings. Referees just warning the players where their stick 
is position. In fact, Tobin, Tobin's been warned for a major offense there. So he's been sent back to the bench and won't participate in the face-off. It's going to be Chris Moffat who scored one of the goals early on. Face-off finally being won there. Well, Kidja, he shoots from the corner point, from left point. Maybe up against Turner. Cox cuts it off. Plays the puck behind the goal line. Here's Williams. Williams bumped off it by maybe. That's a good hip and shoulder. Cox, three on one. One out brilliantly by Moffat out the back. Keeps it in front. Good pass out to Goulds. Goulds looking to play it out back to Moffat. He shoots off the plexiglass. Behind the goal line, two on one. Williams. Plays it back to Turner, but didn't get very far because Kairos was the first to read it with the defensive takeaway. Plays through one player, goes through two. Off the boot of Booten. Moffat starting to lift the tempo here of the Vikings. McDonald keeps it in front. Moffat looking for the backhanded tip in. Doesn't get it. Turner keeps it in front. McDonald was the intended target. Not hitting their targets, the Vikings, inside that attacking zone. Cox penetrates the slot. Shoots off the boot of Corey Booten. Almost leaked into the net and would have been an own goal. Booten lets it go. Turner. Long cross ice pass didn't hit its target. Jeffries keeps it in front. Beautifully done inside the slot. Jeffries again off the gloves of off the pads of Booten. Two on one behind the goal line. Nurich. Ill effective pass, defensive turnover, Williams, back and forth the puck goes on the offensive zone for the Blues. McDonald, stick check there by Nurich. Less than nine minutes to go on the CD Dodge scoreboard. 3-2 here's the scoreline. Oh, heavy hip and shoulder there. Referee say no charge, get on with it. Nurich plays the puck in front, back to centre ice. Nurich to Nurich there. Often in sync on the rink. Jeffries. Jeffries in a scramble for it behind the goal line. Keeps it in front. Good play by Jeffries. Goes cross ice. Is intended there for Nurich. But Hasselhurst. Lovely cross ice pass. Nurich shoots. Ricocheted there off Turner. Goes for a secondary shot. Doesn't get it. On the second chance. Nurich behind the goal line. A little bit of back checking there from Williams. Pinned to the end boards there by Spencer. And there was, looked like there was some slashing, yes. And the referee's just deliberating on that decision. No time in the penalty box. So it'll be a face off on the inner circle as the Vikings make line changes to a few of their players. Back comes Goulds. We've also got Winnett and Humiston back on the ice. Even protection of the slot by the Vikings. They got two in that area. Lamb. Oh, no, that's Hasselhurst. Hasselhurst shoots almost the mid-range there from Kairos. Looking for the tip in deep inside the slot. But the slot heavily covered by the Vikings. They transfer play onto the offensive zone. Humiston turned over as quickly. Hasselhurst. What can Hasselhurst do? Turns it over. Gets it back. Flies Blue Force to cut the tempo here at the moment. Mukija couldn't control the puck. Good takeaway. In fact, there is some, a player in the penalty box, Mike Spencer. So we'll bring up the Shuttergaard power play. As that is in effect. 5 on 4, the Flies Blue. They'll look to exploit the advantage that they have. 5 on 4, ice and call. In fact, it's an offside, I should say. It'll be on the neutral line. In fact, it is a nice and call. Referee's just pointing out that it was. A bit of confusion in that decision, but what the hell, the game goes on. Last minute for Spencer's penalty. Because he scored that first goal of the game for the Vikings early on. Turned over. Clarius. Open ice pass behind the offensive goal line. Back out to Cox. Cox 
Slowing down the tempo now. They need to be a little bit more careful. This Viking side, new look Viking side. In fact, they are a rampant playing side. Hasselhurst, he's got two that he could go cross ice to. Kairos is one of them. He likes to go back out. Jeffries, behind the goal line they go. Jeffries combining with Cox. Beautiful back ice pass. Hasselhurst shoots. Clutched on the chest. McCann, good save. And it will be a face-off. It'll be on the outer circle, as we see on the CD Dodd replay. Good setup. Jeffries from Cox, and the slap shot from centre point to Hasselhurst. Had plenty of power, but in the end, Booten clutch save there. Flies Blue looking to double their advantage here at the Perth Ice Arena. Kairos didn't get all of that one in from centre point. And now Goulds playing it along the wings there. That's a beautiful pass by Goulds. Keeps in front there, McDonald. Just not uh, completing it enough. McDonald almost bobbled out. On the defensive zone for the Blues. Can they play it out of the zone? Yes, they can. The kids just couldn't complete it enough. Maybe. Turns it over to Goulds. And now the Vikings are clear only for a moment. Lamb. Goulds loses control. That benefits Kairos. Kairos goes cross ice out to Cox. Cox shoots off the back. Kairos builds some space from corner point. Flicks it out to Cox. Ricochet there off Goulds. It's in front of him. Now he can break away. Out to center ice now. Goulds loses control. Good stick checking there by the Blues. Maybe to Kairos. With the backhand. Back to maybe. Deep inside the slot. Shoots. Fine clutch save outside the crease. Corey Booten. Only one goal being scored. The Vikings definitely impressive on the defensive end in this second period. They have not conceded any goals. And they've really held their own when the puck is on their defensive zone. Evenly covering the slot. Good defensive coverage. But also they've got good speed when transitioning the puck from defence into attack. They're still in this game. The momentum, I'd have to say, is with them. The Blues, they have had their chances at the same time. They just haven't been able to execute them deep inside the slot. Although their shots on target are still very good. Humiston goes cross ice at their dispenser. Full strength both sides are now. Webster, oh, Newbridge went down there onto the end boards. Hit that one hard there. Newbridge, nice stick checking there by Spencer. Plenty of pushing and shoving. That's what you would expect on opening night. Jeffries. Plays it out back. Hazelhurst. A little bit of communication. Breakdown going on on the defensive end. Goulds. Almost to the back of the net. With the late-handed tip in. Pinned to the boards by Neurich. Coming in to lend a hand there was Huberston. Turned over. Neurich. On the breakaway. In sync to Kairos. Jeffries. Two and a half minutes to go. Any goal here is vital in the context of this game. Hoist pass into the path of Kudler. Turned over. Nice defensive takeaway. Jeffries plays it out back. Neurich back to Jeffries. Beautiful play by Jeffries. Does he go cross ice? Yes, he does. Out to maybe off the crossbar. Tried to go out back towards the slot. But in the end, it's Tobin. Nice little 180 there. Tobin plays it along the wings to the path there of Turner. Plays it back. Loses it in the end. Well, Kidra only momentarily behind the goal line. And now the Blues are on again. This is Kairos. But where's the support? Had nowhere to go to. Gould. Out there to Mukidja. Mukidja from behind the goal line now. He pushes it back. Kairos under pressure. Just sat around waiting for it. You cannot be doing that. Tobin. Nice little hip and shoulder on maybe. Tried to go cross ice into the path of Mukidja. The puck now on the offensive zone. Turned over by Tobin. Beautiful pass to McDonald. McDonald, as he goes cross ice, goes for the shot himself. Off the crossbar with less than 1 minute 20 to go in this second period. It's been an exciting contest so far. Kairos at the back. Controls the puck to maybe. Maybe just out of his reach. Forced to push it back. Moffat. From Cox, 
He went cross eyes to an open Kairos there, but couldn't execute the pass in time. They may pay the price. The Vikings have their chance on the offensive zone. The shot made there by Clarius. And McCann making a vital save. That was a lucky strike there for the Blues. 40 seconds to go. The Vikings have got it where they want to be. They have a chance of levelling the scores with less than half a minute to go. This will be the last passage of this second period. At the back, McDonald. Look at the shot. McDonald from the centre of the slot and levels the scores. That's the goal that the Vikings were after. They kept pers persevering on that offensive zone. McDonald rewards it with a goal to level the scores. Three all. That'll just about do it for the second period. As we see on the CD dot replay, out of the face-off, McDonald with the intuition to penetrate the offensive slot. Nice wrist shot in the end and scores. And the Vikings scoring the only two goals of that period. It was their second period, as a matter of fact. And they go into the last with the scores locked at three all with 15 minutes to go in this opening game. Wouldn't you have thought of a better start for season 2021? Back with the last period after this. Shattergaard has been installing Perth's best shutters for over 30 years. With no advertising signs on your front lawn and no sales gimmicks, visit shutterguard.com.au. You're invited to Perth Ice Arena, Perth's premier ice skating rink. If you're into ice hockey, bigger skating, a novice, or just enjoy the fun of ice skating, this is the place for you. Call or visit the website for session times. It's a great place to keep cool. Well, you could not think of a better start to the CD Dodd Perth Premier League than what we have in store for this third and final period as we welcome you back to the Perth Ice Arena. Three all with one period of 15 minutes to go. Remember, 15 minutes and stoppage time in the Perth Premier League. Goals scored in that second period, Moffat and McDonald. They were the only goal scorers in that second period, while the Blues have still got Kairos with a double and Cox with a singular. That period certainly belonging to the Vikings. They persevered on that offensive zone. They had plenty of chances. None of them going into the back of the net until the final three minutes of the second period. And that's where the momentum is with them at the moment. They've got the greater coverage inside the offensive slot. They're slowing down the tempo in order to get those numbers pushing forward and improve, greatly improve their chances at goal. The fly is blue. When they have Kairos free inside the offensive zone, they keep him isolated there and they don't allow for any other traffic when Kairos has got the puck in the offensive zone, looking for targets to go cross ice and look for the easy tip in. So that's what the Flyers Blue will have to look at if they want to take back the lead. And if you want my two cents on it, it's the Vikings that are in control. Will the Blues hang on and force the first tie of the competition or take victory themselves? Or will it be the Vikings that'll cause a big boil over on night one? of the 2021 CD-Dodd PPL as the third and final period is underway. And it is an icing call. Clock has stopped. Remember, third period, 15 minutes plus stoppage time for every stoppage. So the clock will stop. It's 14.48. Just to get you familiar if you are new to the CD-Dodd Perth Premier League scene. We well, thank you for joining us on our Front Row Screens live stream and, of course, on the Perth Summer League Facebook page and the FRS Facebook page streaming every Friday night throughout the 2021 season.
The puck is on the Vikings attacking zone, just where they want it to be. Tobin, forced to push back now. Turn up. He's had himself a good game tonight. Goulds, he shoots off to the right-hand crossbar. Coming in quite hard there was McCauley. Goulds, looking to go cross eyes. McCauley again, dip inside the slot. He shoots at the scramble point. Did he get it in? And he did. I think he got it in. No, he didn't. Oh, I thought he had it in for a moment there. Did uh, Williams it was. As we see on the CD Dodd replay, you can make your own minds of this one. From behind the goal line, cross ice, McCauley and Williams. It was Williams who had the great chance deep inside the slot. Look for a moment that he got it in. The referees wave it off and no goal. Well, I don't usually oppose to it, but I thought the puck had gone just over the line. But the referees make the decision and they get on with the game. Face off being won. Cox pushes back to land. And it's gone over the sideboards and onto the bench. We'll have ourselves a face off. Don't forget, coming up after this game, make sure you stay tuned as we bring you that last passage to CD Dodd replay. The Sharks doing battle with the Flyers Orange. Both sides made it to the semi-finals last year, but losing both their series, unable to make the grand final. The Flyers Orange finished second last season, and the Sharks finishing fourth. Where will they finish in 2021? With new players on both their sides. Don't forget this round, the Blackhawks have the bye. And they kick off their season next Friday night in Coburn. So make sure you tune in for that as well. Because we've got a big season, a full season of Perth Premier League action coming your way. Thanks to CD Dodd. Back on the Flyers' blue attacking zone. They're not able to keep it locked in that zone. Because the Vikings, they just keep opening the play up when they transfer it from the defensive zone. This is what they struggled to do last season. Off the crossbar, the shot coming in from Goulds, bouncing directly off the crossbar. Now they're just slowing down the tempo. Open ice pass. McCann pulling out of the crease just in the nick of time. Kairos lets that one go. A little bit of forward checking going on there on the end boards. Again, an open ice pass towards the goal line. The Vikings looking for everything that they can to try and take the lead. In fact, they've got it. Here's Winnett. He shoots. Saved brilliantly by McCann in front. Winnett keeps it in front of him. Looks to go to Spencer. One-on-one, pinned to the inboards by Mokidja. Plays it out back. On the, still on the Vikings' offensive zone. Virtually a repeat of the last few minutes of the second period where the Vikings kept it locked in. Win it. Shot from the corner point. Doesn't get it. Spencer behind the goal line. Heavy slot coverage in defence by the Blues. They find an opening. Turner from centre point. Forced back. On to centre ice. He's got there. Win it. Out in the open, on corner point, Winnett gets it back, finds an opening in the mid-slot range, goes cross ice, not executed quite well by Humerson, slap shot by Pifa. Little bit of pushing and shoving on the inner circle. They go back to Pifa. Well cut off in the end there, Mukija, forced back. Vikings under pressure, they move it freely again. They've kept it with them for the last minutes, pinned to the end boards by Kairos. Humiston plays it back, and it's manned on defensive ice. This is Holman. Vikings doing exceptionally well here. Humiston and Turner combining, but they turn it over. Mukija, and it looks like it was offside. No, it was interference. As we see on the replay, yes, there was interference. Against the Viking player there. A little bit of holding on high there. Referee's ruling that is interference. Good decision. Jeffries wins the face-off, thrusts it forward, but only as far as three Vikings players. Well played by Spencer. Out to Kyle shoots. Plenty of power, but just over the crossbar. Mukija loses out in that one. McCauley had an open chance. But couldn't convert it. Pinned to the end boards by McCall, uh, Hasselhurst, who himself gets bumped onto the boards there by number 18 in Tobin. Vikings play it to the centre of the attacking zone, but immediately blocked off by Hasselhurst. Open ice pass is going to be covered off there by Williams. 
Williams coming off summer league duties with the Crusaders as well. In fine form he was early on in the season. Keeps the puck in front of him. Williams goes cross ice. McCauley penetrating the low slot again. They go for the triangle formation, but it's cut off by Cox. He can go cross ice to Ky uh, Kairos. That's what he does. Kairos from the corner to the right-hand side. McCauley, beautiful play by McCauley. Brilliantly done. Got it out to Gould again. Cut off with the defensive takeaway. McCauley, a little bit hesitant. Plays it along the defensive end. Just over 10 minutes to go. It's been a scintillating matchup to open up Perth Premier League. CD Dodd, Perth Premier League for 2021. Here's McDonald. McDonald's looking for number two. Goes with the backhand, doesn't get it. Pinned to the end boards by Lamb. Keeps it in front. Good play, McDonald. Does he go cross ice? No. He's looking for options from behind the goal line. Immediately cut off there, Holman. Push it out back. McDonald shoots. And McCann clutches that one in brilliantly. Nine and a half minutes remaining. On the CD Dodd scoreboard. Lock will continue to run. In this passage from what I'm seeing on the scoreboard, as you see on the replay, big slap shot in the end from the left corner point, McDonald. But in the end, McCann just too good in the end. Be Turner and Cox. Cox pushes back. Lamb, hoist pass. Two on one. Kairos, he stays down. He has the best chance. Deep inside the slot. He goes with the backhand. Shoots. Well saved by Booten. He had support there. From two of the Vikings defenders inside that defensive slot. And now they can transfer play themselves onto the offensive zone. McDonald combining with Turner. Avoiding the back check from Lamb. Nice play from Turner. McDonald. Turner keeps it in front. Well played by Turner. Now releases the puck. Back tip, backhand tip in, almost there from McDonald. Oh, heavy pin there on land. And another one. The physicality, as you expect, amping up. Tripped up there was Cox and will be instantly called up. That was Clarius, I think it was. Yes. And in an instant, he'll spend some time in the penalty box. He knows it. The incident was right from where I am in the commentary box. We see on the replay, Clarice and Cox. Cox tripped up there with a the stick. And it's going to go all the way back to the Flyers' blue attacking zone. Will that penalty prove costly? We bring up to the shutter guard power play now. A vital passage of play here coming up. A vital two minutes, in fact. As the Flyers' blue will have the advantage of five on four. Jeffries loses out on the face-off. The Vikings, they have to control the tempo as much as they can throughout the two minutes. That is not going to help. Over the plexiglass, out to the barriers. And the clock will stop. Eight and a half minutes to go in this game. And but no overtime in regular season games. Each side will take home a point if it remains. Hasselhurst manning the puck from the defensive goal line. And has a couple of plays in support there. One of them is Cox. Hasselhurst. Steadily manning the puck. Forced back. Lovely cross-ice pass to Jeffries. Does he have any targets in support? No, he goes for an open-ice pass. Cox pinned to the end boards. Kairos at the back. Hoist pass back onto center ice. Carries plenty of ground. No icing call. McCann. Plays it to the wings out wide. Hasselhurst. Hasselhurst from Kairos. But it's turned over in the end. Goulds. Bit of a lull in the tempo at the moment. No icing call. McCann is going to be forced to let it go. Humiston was coming at him like a hound dog there. Cross ice pass. Jeffries looking to open up some space. That's brilliantly played. The Vikings looking to go for those open ice passes as much as they can to slow down the tempo that the, the Flyers Blue get when they've got the puck in their hands. And that's why they are pressing back towards that defensive zone to further decrease the chances of the Blues in scoring a power play goal. But Jeffries may have an opening, but only as far as a couple of players there. Hasselhurst back to Nurich on centre line. Here's Nurich. Out to Mukidja in a little bit of trouble. Booten keeps it in front, allowing Turner to go for that open ice pass. They've done well, the Vikings, considering where they are in this game. Less than 20 seconds to go. Jeffries almost with the tip in. He had... An open net inside the slot. 
Hasselhurst goes for the slap shot, doesn't get all of it. The Vikings, under the compressed circumstances, they'll look to kill off this penalty here, and they've done it quite well. The Flyers Blue, I have to say, would be disappointed that they didn't capitalise on a chance to score a power play goal, and as that icing call is made, the penalty and power play have been killed off. That was a fine effort by the Vikings on that defensive zone to kill off that power play. A couple of photographs being taken by the photographer alongside in the commentary box. That's a marvellous photos, I will say, on the Premier League pages and on the IHWA pages as well. Fantastic job getting those action shots that we'll see after the games. If you're joining us for the first time, CD Dodd, Perth Premier League opening night. It is three all between the Vikings and the reigning champions, the Flyers Blue, as it is controlled there by Moffat. Force back, Goulds. He's on the breakaway. He has some space and he can keep going. Nice forward checking there by Nurich. Doesn't get it back. Cox keeps it out in front. It's a three on two. Cox goes for the shot. Booten clutches it in. Fine save to Corey Booten. Inside the defensive goal crease. Without a doubt, this has been a mighty fine game here tonight. Kairos shoots. Almost bobbled out there inside the crease by Booten. Hoist pass. Plenty of territory. Lamb. Turned over, however. Here he comes. Here's Ma uh, Clarius. Oh! Didn't get the chance to capitalise. Maybe. From behind the goal line. They're under immediate pressure here, the Blues. Moffat. Pinned to the end boards there. Here's Cox. Now back to Mukija. Turns it over. Here's Turner. McDonald inside the slot. Did he get it? No, off the crossbar. Another chance. And whoa. Moffat getting a little bit of a tip there inside the crease. And again, the pushing and shoving is imminent. Five minutes and 19 still to go. Nail-biting contest we have here. A nail-biting finish we have in store. As we see on the CD Dodd replay, or in fact, we won't get it. Lamb. Hoist pass. Goes towards centre ice. Lovely play by Kairos, but stick check by two Vikings defenders. One of them there is Turner. Oh, big hit. Turner keeps it in front, goes cross ice, ricocheted off a couple of blues. Mukija to the centre of the defensive zone. Kairos on the breakaway. Hoist pass doesn't get very far. Play to the end boards now. Clarius kept, kept it in front. Great play by the skipper. Of course, the new captain for the season lets it go at the worst moment. And it's turned over. Could that be costly? Maybe. Goes back out towards Nurich. Nurich. McDonald. Turned over Mukija. Head on. Turner back to Mukija. Goes only as far as Kairos, uh, Goulds, however. Plays it out wide. McCauley. What can McCauley do? Goes over the bench again. And we'll have ourselves a face-off on the neutral line. Four minutes and 13 on the CD Dodd scoreboard. The score is still free all. Goal hasn't been scored since 20 seconds to go. Jamie McDonald late in that second period. My goodness, it is going to be a very tense finish. Will the reigning champion strike first or will it be the Vikings that will cause the boil over? Jeffries, defensive takeaway, on centre ice, fine play too. Here's Humiston. What can he do? Humiston, was he tripped up? Ref say no. And that was a good no call as well. Gould, mans it from the defensive zone. Force back, Nurich restricting any space that he's got. But now the Vikings, can they get themselves out in the open? They can. Williams, slap shot. McCann almost losing it in the end. But he's able to clutch that in just inside the crease. And again, the tension evident between the two teams as we see on the replay. Thanks to CD Dodd. Good setup by Spencer. And finding the space inside the slot was, was Williams. Opportunistic as ever. 
McCann just readjusting his gloves there inside the crease. It'll be another face-off, three and a half minutes to go. Couldn't think of a better start to the CD Dodd Perth Premier League this season than this one. Cracking contest where the Flies Blue looking to kick off their title offence in a strong way. They're level with the Vikings, 3-1 at the moment. The Vikings, when it was a six-team competition, they finished second last. But now it's a five-team competition this season, but the action's still heating up. Who will strike the winner? Gould. Keeps it in front of him. Assessing his options behind the goal line. Now plays it out wide to the wings. Inside the last three minutes of this game. Moffat plays it out in front, but very loose on the offensive zone. Hasselhurst, two on one. McDonald almost tipped it off. Well played, Jeffries. Nice little dummy. Breakaway towards offensive ice. Jeffries from the corner. Does he go cross ice? No, he shoots over the crossbar. Moffat. Good play by Moffat with the defensive takeaway. He's now on. Turner. Turner didn't get all of it. That's good pressure. Very good pressure there by Mukidja. Stopped a certain slap shot at goal. Another CD Dodd replay again. Fine effort by Mukidja in that defensive zone. Very tense finish ahead, ladies and gentlemen. Inside the last two and a half minutes of this opening match. McDonald, heavy slot coverage from the corner. Again, McCann off the pads. McDonald keeps it in front. Finds second effort. McDonald looking to go there to Moffat, but it's turned over. Jeffries goes looking for Kairos. Was he interfered? No. Kairos pushes back. Hasselhurst. Moffat with the backhand. It's still on center ice. Cox. Could we see a tie in the opening game? Man, that would be some fascinating start to the CD Dodd PPL. Pifa plays it out of the goal line towards the sideboards. Kairos penetrating the low slot, but instantly cut off by the captain, Clarius. McDonald. What can McDonald do? It's a three-on-one. McDonald shoots. Ricochet off Mukija. McCauley keeps it in front. It's on centre ice, forced to go back. Look at Jeffries. He's pressing hard. Looking to enforce the turnover. We've got a minute and 20 remaining. He was being held there. I think he was. Referee's got his hand up. Advantage is paid. There was interference from the back. This allows Goulds. Plays it out back. Goulds from the corner again. Cross ice. McCauley. Moffat. Oh, played it very loose there. The advantage is over. And there was interference off the back. And a timeout has been called with a minute to go. What will both sides assess for the last 60 seconds? Three all is the scoreline. We've got a minute to go. We see on the CD Dodd replay. The cross ice pass was into the path of McCauley. Went back to Moffat. But unfortunately, the advantage had come to an end off that defensive turnover. As you see, the Vikings, led by Sean Cookson, assessing their options for the final minute. What will Cookson be telling him? Don't panic if the puck's on that offensive zone. Don't panic if you turn it over because you've got targets that can push back. They've got a good defensive setup. That's what led them to concede no goals in that second period and kill off the penalty that they had late in the second and early on in the third. From what I've been seeing in the first observations here tonight, I think you could agree that they are looking like a much stronger team in 2021 than what they were in 2020. Those forwards, especially with the likes of Levesque, Goulds, and also tonight, Clarius and Mike Spencer, they provide a deadly five. They could put in any five players that they have on the rink, and they'll give you a really good game. They are a much better side, the Vikings, when I called some of their games last year, it would often be a demolition against them. But it's certainly not going to look like this in the last minute of the game. Tobin plays it out in front, goes cross ice. McDonald's out in the open on the offensive zone. They go to him. But well covered in the slot there by the Blues. Almost Clarius with the match winner. 
In the meantime, the penalty box, the power play is in effect. Liam Jeffries, for that interference, is spending some time in the penalty box. So we bring up the power play for the last minute. That's going to be vital. Kairos slap shot, shoots. Oh, off the crossbar. So it'll be five on four for the remainder of this game. Can the Vikings take advantage or will both sides share a point? Goulds controls the tempo, looking for that space. On the breakaway towards centre ice. Turner goes back. Not a lot of options now from the corner. Clarius inside 20 seconds. Turner, what can he do? Forced to go back. Goulds, well covered in the end by the blue slap shot. And McCann with the save. We're inside the last 10 seconds. CD Dodd replay. Well controlled by the Vikings in the lead up. They made sure that they did not panic. As we take you back live now, we're inside the last 10 seconds. McCann bobbles out from inside the crease. Hasselhurst plays it from behind the goal line. We're going to see a tie in the first game of the season. The buzzer will go. Oh, my goodness. The very first game of season 2021 has ended in a tie. What an unbelievable finish. So the opening match of CD Dodd Perth Premier League 2021 could not have ended in a better way. We have a three-all tie, and that means both sides will share a point. You have to say both sides would be disappointed in a way to not secure the match winner, especially the Vikings, because they had heaps of chances in the last two minutes. The Flyers blew. They did very well to compress the Vikings when the ball, when the puck was inside that offensive zone. But both sides can be credited by the fans and live stream viewers for a sensational game to open up the new campaign. And I think I'll speak for everybody here that this season has opened up with a bang. But that's not the only game we've got coming for you as we, see, as we show you highlights now of that match. We've got the Sharks doing battle with the Flyers Orange in just a matter of 15, 20 minutes. And that'll be the second of our Friday night double of the CD Dodd Perth Premier League for 2021. Goal scorers, Cox with a single and a double for Kairos for the Blues. Moffat, McDonnell and Spencer, singular goal scorers for the Vikings. We'll take uh, a long break, but when we do come back in about 15, 20 minutes time, we'll have the Vikings and the Flyers Orange Clash right here at the Perth Ice Arena. But on behalf of Bailey, Ryan, Matt and all the Front Row Screens team and all thanks to CD Dodd, this is Paul Persick saying so long. We'll see you in about 20 minutes for the second game, the Sharks and the Flyers Orange, as it was the Flyers Blue and the Vikings tying the first game at 3 all.